Hey everybody, my name is Juan. Today I want to talk about um, dueling and these trash things that don't serve any purpose in your fucking life. Um, sorry for swearing. I will swear in this video a lot. Bear with me. Um, my name is Juan. I go on the Rice Born Reliable on YouTube. I post random content that it's not organized at all. I just kind of do things, experiment with them, and I guess trying to express that on YouTube. Um, so I decided I made a recent change in my life, and I no longer vape, I no longer smoke, I no longer drink. Um, I drink socially, but not really by myself for, like, the weekends or anything like that. So today we're going to talk about smoking and vaping. So, right now for me, I've been, and I'm going to tell you my perspective on vaping and smoking, and I'm also going to tell you about how it's been for me for the past two months now. Almost two months, and four days is going to be two months. Um, and how I hopped off the nicotine bat bandwagon, um, and I'm going to introduce myself of how I got started smoking. So it's been popular in my family that smoking has been very popular in my family and my mom smoked, my dad smoked out of depression and he committed suicide. Long story short, um, he died because due to the fact that he drank so much and he missed us. That's a lot of hard content. I'm sorry. But this, this leads on to the story. Um, when my dad passed away, I decided to go on to smoking to deal with stress. And to also deal with stress with my past relationships and how this person didn't like me. And stuff like that. And that's what led me into smoking. So, I've been smoking for the past... In freshman year, I started smoking, I think it was either freshman year or junior year. I'm pretty sure it's junior year. When I turned 18, I grabbed my first e-cigarette out of a vape shop. And I didn't know I was going to get so hooked on it. But let me tell you, I got hooked on it bad. Um, This video is going to be pretty lengthy. And I'm just giving you a backstory about everything. So you can stick around for that. I'll probably have some surprise at the end. And a little bit of tips to help you guys do this, this, and that. Um, so yeah, uh, the reason why I smoked is because how my father passed away with his suicide and my rest of my family passing away, um, because of throat cancer and many stuff like that and relationship issues and me getting, not being able to get over a girl, you know, a high school crush, stuff like that. Um, so I vaped since junior year all the way up to... A year after college, so I was smoking for about four years, and I met this girl, her name's Amanda, and she really got me over that fact of, like, how smoking isn't everything, and that it's all a mental game in your head, and how you can just drop everything. So, with having person, that leads to point number one, you need to have somebody that keeps you accountable when you start vaping and when you quit vaping. Somebody that keeps you accountable, even if it's like a roommate or your brother, just somebody that cares about you so much. Like for me, it was my new relationship with my new girlfriend right now. And she always kept me accountable. She would tell me all the time, hey, maybe you should stop doing that every time I get hooked on it again. Um, or she would say stuff like, um, you don't you don't need that. You can deal with your stress, take breaths, give you a little bit of pointers here and there, which would be perfect. Or you know what's better overall? Having somebody that keeps you accountable that's been quitting vaping for a while or hasn't smoked and knows how to deal with their stress. Those are perfect people. You don't want people that keep you accountable that keep on smoking and like have a bad vibe to them as in like they've never motivated people. You want somebody that's confident and happy that they want to see you quit. So I've had my girlfriend and we've been dating for the past year and a half and a month. In October it'll be a month. Uh, a year and a month. And she kept me accountable. Throughout the year that we've been dating, she kept me accountable of what I was doing wrong. So she would tell me, hey, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? Okay. Okay. She'd be kind of like mad about it, but she wouldn't be um, forceful about it because she knew it wasn't um, enough. You know, like you shouldn't be forcing people to quit. It should be on your own terms, and that's what it took for me is my own terms to just get rid of it. All right, so that's point one, having somebody accountable. And, all right, 
So I stopped smoking February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So, uh, so sorry, I stutter a little bit here and there. August, I stopped smoking. And the best way that helped me drop the vape and like literally just pulled it down out of my face was I've tried so many of times of like throwing a vape, smashing a vape, going cold turkey. Let me tell you, that didn't work for me. I still ended up going to the store buying another one. So after, honestly, it took me like three tries until I got the hang of it because after those three tries of breaking and dealing with the stress that deals without nicotine is like, you start learning how to deal with your stress a little bit here and there. And I advise everybody to just drop the vape. Don't smoke it for like a whole day. Learn how to deal with your stress. Learn how to deal with it. Get the sense of how it feels. And if you want to get back on it again. Okay? So let's say you go back on it again for like a week. Hop, hop off it, off the vape now for two days. Now you're going to get used to the feeling of how stress really attacks your body. And how you really want to crave it. But keep in mind, hold these on for two days. You really want to hold these on for two days. It's very critical because on the second day, you're going to realize that stress coming up again. And you're going to learn from your first day of how you dealt with it. So the second day is going to be a lot easier. All right? So the second day you're quitting. This is your second day. The third day, you're going to hop on it again. We'll give you a little bit of chance. Hop on it again. Go week. At some point within that week, you should be like, okay, I can I can drop this. I can deal with this by myself. So my advice to you, if you want to drop the vape and all this shit, best you can do, grab this, break it in half. Or go to a convenience store, chuck it in the garbage, all the way at the bottom, drive off. Best you can do. Or if you're a kid in high school, what you can do is, um, if I was... In high school still and I wanted to quit. I would go to the closest garbage bin. Um, not close to the campus because you don't want to get in trouble for using electronic cigarettes and stuff like that. You shouldn't even vape if you're under 18. Anyhow, 21 in, in Connecticut. Chuck this in the closest dumpster you could find near high school. Not near, but kind of close. And just walk away from it. This is what I had advice on the third day. Literally walk away with it. Deal with your stress for like a day. And now this is where I'm going to ask you. You're going to grab nicotine gum. If you're under 18 and you're trying to quit, I feel bad for you because you're going to have to find some other source of finding a way to quit because your only way is cold turkey. Or if you're under 18, actually I have better advice for you. Grab some cinnamon um, gum. Cinnamon gum is going to help you a lot. So you want to get cinnamon gum and try chewing on that. You'll get the same sensation as nicotine gum, but you just won't have the nicotine. Or finding zero nicotine juice. But I don't advise zero nicotine juice because you're still smoking that and it's ruining your lungs. Alright, so where were we at? So, chuck the vape, walk away. A day, cold turkey. Now, for people over 21 and over 18 in some states that want to quit, you're going to have to buy nicotine gum 4 milligram if you're smoking early in the morning, 30 minutes after you wake up. Or two milligrams if you wake up and you take your first cigarette at one hour after waking up. So for me, I took the four milligram nicotine gum. I quit smoking for about two days and I hopped in the gum. So what you want to do with the gum is you want to chew the gum. And you want to chew it until you get that peppery taste. You want to park it in the back of your gums and let it sit for like 10 minutes. You're going to feel the peppery taste and that's the nicotine kicking in. The first time you're not really going to feel it that much, but I strongly urge you to hold on and just keep on going. I promise you will experience such a difference, you will never want to smoke again. Um, so yeah, you're going to keep on chewing the nicotine gum for like 30 minutes here and there, park. So chew, chew, park, chew, chew, park, chew, chew, park. Um, you're going to start, you're going to throw it out every 30 minutes. So in the box, it advises you to... I think it's every, it's nine pieces a day. But for me, I took honestly like six to five pieces a day. So for me, that saved me a lot of money. 
Um, the nicotine gum is going to come up to around 11 to $12 in Connecticut with tax. But what's good is that they encourage you to quit because in the box, when you open it up, it comes with a small coupon that takes $3 off. So not only are you wasting $11 now, you're wasting less. It's $8 while they're buying a whole bottle of vape juice is like 15 bucks, Or buying a disposable vape is like 13 bucks. But look at this, you're saving $4. I'm buying the nicotine gum and it's helping you. Um, this video is going to be very long. So get comfortable. Sorry, I keep on mentioning that, but let's keep this going. Um, so you want to chew the nicotine gum for about a solid month. If you've been smoking for about four years or five years, I recommend two to three months. If you've been smoking for 10 years, honestly, just do it for two to three months. But if you've been in the three to four year mark, just Go a month with the tree nicotine gum and then just immediately quit it. Because I'm going to tell you what happens when you start chewing it for a month and how, what was my experience. So when I started chewing the nicotine gum for about a month, at the near end of the month, I started realizing I started totaling the $8. And this is when you really start realizing how much money you're going to save from the $12 that you've been using for these pieces of shit things right here. Um... It goes from, so this is $12. So you go see 12, 24, 36, 48, 50, 62, 74. See how much money that adds up over time. And that's not even in a span of a month. That's in like three weeks probably. And you're just losing $74 that you could have saved for something that could have been happy, critical in your life. For any type of emergency, that money could have been used for that. But you had to spend it on this. Um, so that's what made me quit. That's what made me quit the nicotine gum. Going from vaping to nicotine gum to completely quitting was the fact that I'm realizing that these things are $74 a month. And then my nicotine gum coming down to like 50 to like $40 a month, you start saying, I can use that $20 for gas. Or I can use that $20 for a snack at the Cumberland Farms or at the 7-Eleven or at the Valero gas station. And you start realizing that $20 adds up over time and you could be saving that money for something so much more valuable. Like for me even, all the money that I used for this type of crap and all the vape stuff... I built myself a gaming computer down there and I used my money towards that rather than smoking because honestly it's not worth your while or your time to be smoking and hopefully I encourage you to quit. Sorry, this video is going to be super long so get comfortable and I keep on saying that over and over again. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I just quit nicotine gum in general in the first month. And let me tell you, when you quit smoking for the first three days, those are going to be the toughest times that you'll ever have. Or the week. That whole week is going to be the toughest week of your life. But let me tell you that as just as long as you stay hydrated, and what's helped me quit is coffee and caffeinated drinks like Monster. Just take caffeine instead of nicotine, you know? Just take it for a few weeks and replace it with that, you know? Um, or water. Water helps too mostly times. Um, so after that one week, um, you're going to start realizing that your muscles start to ache a little bit. They're not going to ache a lot, just a little bit because your body's getting used to the, um, the response time of everything and everything going back to normal because nicotine, I guess, is it slows down your body and how it builds. It slows down the way you breathe. It raises blood pressure. It fucks up your immune system. It does. It's not worth it your time to be smoking just barely how it is and you can tell i'm very passionate about this because i know what difference i made from vaping to what i am now and it's not worth it it's worth it for the long run it's worth it for the long run to quit smoking it really is but if you're gonna keep some smoking for the long run it's just not worth it don't smoke for the long run man don't even Start smoking in the first place. That shit sucks. So the first week after the first week, you're going to start realizing that your body's aching. And you're going to be like, shit, 
this shit fucking hurts. So what I advise you to do is just go like this, comfort yourself over time, and just keep it up. So first week without smoking, you use the nicotine gum. You're gonna start realizing the nicotine the nicotine gum is gonna start feeling a lot more stronger, more potent. And you're gonna be like, damn, this feels a lot different than smoking nicotine. And it is gonna hit a lot harder than vaping it because obviously it's going through your nerve system and the gums. So be prepared for that. Um Second week of everything, um, you're gonna realize that your heartbeat starts to slow down. Um, your breathing, you'll start feeling like pains like right here. These pains right here. You'll you'll start feeling them. And then once you breathe in, this thing's gonna hurt right here. And you have to go like something like that. It's very weird. I don't know how to explain it unless you experience it. Um so you're gonna realize that your breathing is gonna start feeling weird. Um week three. Um, you're gonna start realizing you're gonna start breathing a lot better. Everything's gonna feel a lot better too. You're gonna be able to smell, taste food a lot better. You're gonna be able to, I think, build the muscles too. Cause I know the vaping shit like this, this really um, busts your muscles down a lot. Like it kills your muscle gains badly if you're a man. Um, for me, it did really badly, and my voice started to hurt as soon as that started to recover because when you smoke this type of stuff you have to realize you inhale this shit your tonsils start to get injured like they'll start to swell really badly if you don't hydrate and you vape all the time and then you're gonna have to get steroids i didn't decide to do that i decided to quit completely after re realizing how much health problems i've been having and that was really what made me stop is the health problems, the money, and the fact that I wanted to move out. And I couldn't picture myself smoking inside the house anymore. Like, I need to start saving money. I'm 21. I have to move forward with my life. And that's it. You know, you need to find motivation. Something deep inside of you that wants, to, wants you to quit. Because let me tell you, if you want to quit, sort of. Or you want to quit and like, eh, maybe this person might find attractive smoking. Look, I'm going to tell you a big secret. Ain't nobody trying to find smoking attractive. It ain't attractive. These women out here don't find smoking attractive. That's another pro to why you want to quit this shit. Is because women don't find smoking attractive. It just shows that you don't know how to deal with your stress and... You don't have to deal with your problems naturally and you hold on to grudges and stuff like that. This is what this shit does. It just makes you hold on to things that aren't valuable to your own self and your own present right now. And that's what I realized is like I don't even hold on to that much grudges anymore. Hold on to stress that hard anymore. After quitting this, I don't hold on to stress. I breathe in. <sighs> breathe it out. And that's how stress is. And that's how you have to deal with stress. It's like you can't change it. You can't move it. Why are you going to smoke this? You know? All right. So one month in and you haven't been smoking. You're going to start realizing that you're going to be in a lot better physical shape. Your skin will start to look better. So yeah, like I was saying, um... Yeah, it's just not worth it. After the month, honestly, you're going to start realizing your skin's going to be a lot better. Your muscles are going to be kind of sore because of the blood pressure rising up so much. Like, for me, I was used to be a smoker. Like, I would inhale nicotine at least 30 minutes a day. Like, 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, I'd be smoking. Every 30 minutes. And it was bad for me i couldn't stand it anymore and i guess is where i end the video because i've only been two months into it and let me tell you the end goal is so much better you got more better physical shape you feel more energetic more wide awake you sleep better if you smoke at night you'll you'll sleep a lot better too you will sleep a lot better if you quit vaping man um, 
you'll start drinking a lot more water. You'll start drinking a lot more because usually these things they just aren't worth it anymore. All right, so I'm gonna cut the video here. Um, so I'm gonna give you a few pointer and tips if you watch this whole video through because of the shitty quality. Um, so after you quit vaping, the big goal. Sorry, excuse me. The big goal, once you quit vaping, is you need to find something to keep you busy. Um, I'll probably make a shorter vid video of this that's like five minutes long so everyone can get it and understand it. But this is the long version of it. Um, you need to find something to replace it. So for me, the money I used for my, what I saved from smoking these is, like I said, for me the new hobby was gaming computers now. Now I could play um, Warzone on it. I can do whatever I fucking feel like it on the new gaming PC because I've saved m enough money to do that, you know? Um, maybe you're enthusiastic with cars. You can buy new posters. Buy flags. Um, you can work on your car with the money that you saved from smoking. Um, and get you busy with that. That's it. Keep yourself busy while you're quitting. I wish you all luck. Um, it is a tough journey, but it is a positive outlook on your life. And I really believe in you guys. I really do. Um, my brother is currently working on quitting. He's my twin. Um, God bless you all. And have a good day.